Oh, he means it. I'll be back. This time, Arnold's a grey-haired cyborg. I've been waiting for you. Raging against the machines in Terminator Genesis. What was it like to get back in the saddle? Well, it was terrific. The plot? Top secret. What we do know, it's not a prequel, sequel or reboot, but a standalone film plunging everyone into an altered timeline. For them to come up with new twists and new turns made me really have a big smile on my face. <laughs> and you're obviously in amazing shape always, but did you have to amp it up? Yes, I, I, I did. Even though, you know, the character ages because it's human flesh, mm -hmm. but still the skeleton, the metal skeleton is still the same size. So you have to really bulk up again. I had to gain some weight and some muscle size in order to resemble the 1984 characters. And of course, we all trained very hard when it comes to doing the stunts and preparing ourselves for, uh, with all the weapons, you know, the, mm -hmm. you get to go through the weapons training and stunt training and physical training and so on. And I was impressed how hard everyone trained with weights and got in a really great shape. I felt like I was a muscle peach there for a second. In this version, Game of Thrones' Amelia Clark is Sarah Connor. Everything's changed. Jason Clark is John Connor. And Jai Courtney, the human resistance soldier, Kyle Reese. It stays loyal to the early films. Like any great sci-fi, you know, that it makes you imagine this bigger world. It was long days and some pretty impressive men to keep up with, so. <laughs> Arnold back on stage with Danny DeVito, sparking rumors they'll be back with a sequel to Twins. Triplets Please. we're hearing now is gonna be the next one with Eddie Murphy as the triplet. We are all wanting to do it and we're just waiting for the script. But first, get set for Judgment Day, Terminator Genesis in theaters July 1st.